Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you some of my rubber stamp collection and clear stamps. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but because I have such a large collection, I wasn't sure how to share it. So I just decided today I was going to break it down into themes. So today we're going to look at all my flower stamps, my um, wooden stamps and my clear stamp collection. So we're gonna start with my wood ones. Um, I don't, I will share with you what company it is if I know. Uh, a lot of them I don't because a lot are gotten off of AliExpress and Amazon. But the one company that you'll see a lot, especially in my flowers is 100 Proof Press. And they make the absolutely most gorgeous stamps. Beautifully done. You'll see their little logo there. And I will show you quickly their catalog. This is their most recent one as far as I know. I have been purchasing from 100 Proof Press since the 1980s. They've been around for a long time. They have the most delicious assortment of stamps. Any theme that uh, you can think of, they have it. So um, you can access them online. They do have a website. You can request a catalog and you can order online or you can order through the mail. And they're out of California and their, their customer service is wonderful. They're also on Instagram, 100 Proof Press. So um, I have a lot of flower stamps for a couple of reasons. I love flowers, but um, when I lived in Iowa, my mom always had a garden. My mom's neighbor had a huge garden that my sister and I were constantly um, looking at and taking pictures of. And then I had a garden when I lived there. So um, it just reminds me of Iowa, my childhood, uh, when I was living there, when my daughter was little. So I really like flowers. So I've collected quite a selection. So let's get looking. I'll bring these up. Um, these are from 100 Proof Press. The rest of these, they're kind of light. Um, they're beautiful. They're kind of bouquets and things like that. And these, I think, were gotten off of Amazon and they were in a box set. I'm going to try to go through these pretty quickly. Um, here you've got more 100 Proof Press. And this one, I can tell you, I think, uh, Leavenworth Jackson. They are another company that I've been buying from since the 80s. But they have a pretty small um, catalog and selection. I think they're from California also. This is one from um, AliExpress. And you see they come in these nice little boxes. But you'll also notice the cheaper stamps, they're not trimmed around as... Um, if you look at these, so you end up getting an edge when you stamp. If you get any ink on the sides, you can actually go in with a um, exacto knife and just cut those out. But then you might not like the look of it. For me, I don't really care. I care about how it stamps. So that's kind of up to you. If you want to do that on your stamps, uh, Leaven with Jackson is also uh, trimmed. And this is just a little one from, I don't know, some other set. So um, I wanna talk about prices. Um, 100 Proof Press does offer um, unmounted for half price. So you can save a lot if you wanna mount your own stamps. And in the past, I have, as you go, as I go through my collection, you'll see I have a lot of hand-mounted stamps. They are the cheaper way to go, but you have to buy uh, the rubber pad. You have to be able to cut wood um, down to the shape. I had my dad to do that way back in the 80s, so my sister and I only bought unmounted. But now, um, when I bought, I just went ahead and paid the full price, but these flower, these big stamps are expensive. They probably run around um, eight to $10 or more. But if you're looking at like this set, 
this whole set I got for probably under $10. So, but they can't compare to the quality and the amazing beauty of how big the stamps are and the gorgeous uh, prints that you get when you use them. These are some sets that you've probably seen on Amazon. I got both of these on Amazon, probably for $5 each. I bought them a long time ago, so I can't say what they're going for now. It seems like everything is going for more money now. These are also not trimmed, so um, you're going to have to deal with the edges. Uh, these are some from AliExpress. They're just adorable. But again, they are um, inexpensive. Th these are like that clear kind of rubber, white rubber. Not the same quality as red rubber, I've been told, but I haven't had any problems with stamping them. So here's another set. This set was from Amazon. I bought a lot of these sets after my husband had his heart attack and I had had cancer surgery. So I was just kind of indulging myself in um, nostalgic memories of Iowa and flowers. These are actually just all dandelions. I guess these aren't really flowers. Um, these are another set that I got off of Amazon. They're kind of a little artsy um, strip that has some writing and um, postmark on them. They're nice to put as a little addition, like if you were doing a card or doing a journal spread. Okay, more off of Amazon. This one, AliExpress. This is brown rubber. It's amazing all the different colors they now have. <laughs> this one's really beautiful. I have a thing about the garden at night and especially flowers at night. So this just reminded me of that. So I love that. I'm gonna stamp this in black and then I'm gonna color these. Uh, I think they're tulips in. Uh, this is another set. Uh, some things I like to keep in boxes just because, oh, and I'm not gonna be able to open it without tearing it. So I'm not gonna open that. Let me try one more. It looks like this one's maybe been opened. Yep. <laughs> These are probably just the same. Oh, these are red rubber, but again, not trimmed. So you're gonna have to fight with the edges. If that's a deal breaker and you have the money, you know, go ahead and buy the more expensive stamps. It's just for me, I, um, I wanted to get a lot of flower stamps, but I didn't necessarily wanna pay five to $10 a piece. So again, this was a whole set. Uh, this is off AliExpress and um, this is also one from AliExpress. I have a thing for, um, Lily of the Valley. So this is just a beautiful Lily of the Valley stamp. Job is, uh, the one who got me into Lily of the Valley. So, so um, I kind of have him to blame for all the Lily of the Valley stamps that I've purchased since, uh, he started talking about them. <laughs> All right, here's some more of those uh, decorative ones. And here's another set. This was probably bought in off of eBay or AliExpress. There's a little hand one, a little hand bouquet. Let's see, okay, here's some more. Um, 100 Proof Press and one off of AliExpress. This is actually from Michael's. Morning Glories were something my mom always had, so I love those. Petunias, my sister loved petunias, so um, a lot of this just has to do with memories that I wanted them for. And my sister and I used to write letters to each other and when we wrote letters, we um, stamped uh, like garden scenes and flowers. So we used those a lot. I should have had one of her letters out here so I could show you, but I don't have it. Maybe I'll show you in the next video and then I'll explain why I'm showing it. <laughs> Here's some more little sets. These are all from AliExpress. Actually, this 
if I'm not mistaken, I got this off of Amazon. And I got these years ago, back when Amazon, their, their wood stamp sets were pretty cheap. But nowadays, they're pretty expensive. So this is coming to the end of my stamps. Here is another uh, Lily of the Valley one. Here's another Garden at Night. Here's a couple. Here's another Lily of the Valley. Oops. Oh, geez. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then these are some sets. These are really pretty. Different hands holding flowers. Yeah, I have my, I record on my phone and my phone is attached to my overhead light. And so I have it down really low today so I can show you these up close. So that's why I ended up hitting it. These were from AliExpress. I should say that I don't buy from AliExpress anymore because um, sadly, I really love AliExpress, but um, the last time I ordered from them, I ordered like, I don't know, six, seven things for my birthday, and I only got two of the things, and everything else was sent back. I had no control over it. It just was sent back in customs, and so I lost my money. I didn't try to fight it because it's really hard to get money back from AliExpress, so I just took it as a loss and said I wasn't going to order from them anymore. So that's kind of sad, but I have enough stuff, so I really don't need anything. Um, so these are my clear stamps, my flowers. I just went through them. Um, I don't think I showed this on YouTube. I think it was on my Instagram where I got these, uh, clear folders. They're actually for DVDs and documents or CD-ROMs. Um, but they're perfect for holding the stamps and it just made everything really cohesive and nice looking in the container that I have them in. They were such a mess before. I also went through and got rid of, uh, donated a whole bunch of stamps of my clear stamps because I just had so many. Now, almost all of these were bought off of AliExpress. They were probably $2 or less when I bought them. Now I've noticed that stamps and everything has gone up on sites like Timu and AliExpress. So I don't think you can get them for the prices that I got them. So I was very lucky um, when I was buying. These are going to be a little bit harder to show, I'm afraid, but I'm just going to hold them up. I just went for any kind, any flower stamp that they had. I bought it because they were so affordable and I just wanted to build a collection of every different type of flower. Now, hopefully I have these right. These are roses. I do love clear stamps. There's nothing like the wooden stamps. They're so beautiful to look at. Do I have this right? Yeah. But the clear stamps take up so much less room. They're so much more affordable. So I like both. I don't really have a preference. Okay, this is not from AliExpress. Oh, I think these are Prima Marketing and they're, I used to have a whole bunch of Prima Marketing stamps and I kind of mixed and matched them and sold the other um, ones as a mix set. So this is just what I kept. So it, it's got a few other things on there besides flowers, but things that you'd find in the garden, bees and birds. Here's another Lily of the Valley set. I actually bought two of these and sent one to Job. <laughs> Oops. Some more flowers. Here's another Lily of the Valley set. That's just a little different from the other one. Did I need both? No, but... I bought them. Okay, this is a beautiful bee. As so he could be an insect, but the flowers are really pretty. So I decided to show this in my flower collection. Pansies, my grandma loved pansies and she always had pansies in her garden. And we used to go over to her house back in the 1960s and she would give us tours of her garden. And I have such memories of that. 
Um, these are pansies, poppies, and all different ones. Now, I don't know. I just searched flower stamps on AliExpress, and you just have to search them, and that's how you find them. <laughs> A lot of times, if you typed in poppy, or um, sunflower, I mean, sunflower would probably be, but a lot of the names like pansies, it probably wouldn't even come up. It would just be a flower stamp. So you kind of have to wade through them. This is kind of bouquets and a few other things. Okay, so that is it for my uh, collection of flower stamps. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I see it's not really that long. And I've been doing longer videos because I've been getting more comfortable doing videos. So I'm not as nervous as I was when I started out. My videos were like six minutes long and I was so nervous. And now I can do like a half an hour one. So I'm growing. And so that's nice. Um, so I guess I should have picked out another whole batch to share too. Uh, but I can't really do that. I don't have the ability to pause my recording on my iPhone. I know you can download an app and then you're able to do that. And I really should look into that. I've just been trying to keep it very, very simple. So I can't really stop and go get stamps and then do some more. So I'll just have to do another video, but I hope you enjoyed this and I'm going to keep going and go through my whole collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.